You like Star Wars, Jeff? I do like Star Wars. Why do you like Star Wars, Jeff? Because I'm a big fucking nerd. No, you have a big fucking chin. Baseball. 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 Sport. Baseball. Sports. Baseball. You don't like this nerdy shit, do you? It's okay. No, it isn't. You're like a big jock. You look like Adonis. This is a big joke. Bye. <laughs> that clock keeps ticking like a metronome. Ah. My thoughts keep telling me to get me home. Use the force, fuck face. Keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome in my thoughts. Baseball. Me to get me Hockey. Baseball. Hockey. Football. Me Football. Me NASCAR. NASCAR. See at Reg last week? Great. Fuck it. Yeah. It's like Jock and Gay. Broadcasting live from the heart of Europe. This is the most badass you can broadcast in all of the land. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy Seed. Stop the point. Uh... Vault doing the late duty. Okay. The, <laughs> and it's, all right, we got um interesting um drama, Jeff. Um, I I like bringing these. I like doing these shows with you because yeah. you're you're like so not a nerd, and I just I, I just I appreciate your facial features. Um, just to give you a little background, what's going on? Uh, Fio's kind of having a bad week and. <laughs> He summed it up with this, and it's pretty funny. <laughs> um, but not getting into this, I, I hope he's okay. i got to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, to be fair, um, there's two sides to this story, and we'll definitely gonna put, put that out there. And I just want to see your um, – so what are you doing? You work out all day, right? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I do for do for work. And you own guns? Uh, yes. And you and, – and, and you, and you, um, um, you like sports, and that's pretty much all you do, right? Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you know, Jeff, I'd love to see you grown. How, how long? I've had you since you were 19, 20? Uh, yeah, we're coming up on uh, seven years now. And now you're pushing 30. <laughs> uh, you let's, let's not get them. that far. Let's you not go that far. Yeah, but it's 20, wait, how old are you, 27? I'm 26. Tw yeah, you, you, late 20. I've, on, I, I've, crossed, I've crossed that halfway mark. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm closer to thirty than I am. Today, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Close to thirty, close to forty too. And uh, yeah, Vito kind of yeah. spared that all of it, but, but he does, he does kind of have a point. So here's what I decided: if if you can believe this, guys, there's like a left wing and a right wing of Star Wars, right? Oh Jesus! And, <laughs> <fuck. That's my laughs> and, and and they're battling it out and swing. Uh, where, does, uh, where, does, where, does, where does Trump get called a Nazi in this? <laughs> and, 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 and uh, you know, people are like, this is like, people tell me that there's no, um, and there's no, nothing going on in, in the Star Wars camp and uh, all this stuff is just a bunch of, mostly guys on the left tell me this is all bullshit, but I have a real trouble believing there's not some kind of political divide, an ideological divide uh, since the Mandalorian. It shows... Uh, and then some. So here's what I decided. I decided, here's what I'm going to do, because I love when YouTubers do this. I am better than everybody involved in this drama. I'm going to do everything from the middle to make everybody think that I'm smarter than them and more even handed them and therefore mm. just a better person. That's the way I'm going to do this drama. I'm in the running, middle. I, I am not on the left. I'm not on the right. I'm just going to tell everybody to calm down over and over again. And I'm going to stick my nose in the air and and uh, um, act like I'm above it all. When <laughs> How's that usually work out? Nobody. Well, uh, I, I, everybody knows where I stand on a lot of this stuff. So it doesn't really work out at all. So, um... Just give you a little background. There is this. Uh, I forgot her fucking name already. That's how good a job I'm doing. Uh, I there, there is this. Um, all right, I gotta explain this to Jeff. This is the funny part. All right. Okay. There was a book, and it's canon. You know what canon means? No. You, you don't know. I knew it. I knew it. You don't know what canon means? No. All right. It's like wrestling. I'll explain in wrestling terms for you. When the live show, like Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. That's like yeah. the canon for the show. The dark matches don't further the storyline, right? During the week. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the, the stuff that's the, this particular book is canon as if it fits in the Star Wars universe. You get that? So canon's like the dark matches? 
No. <laughs> no, no. Can, Canon's okay. like the like Raw, the, uh, Raw and SmackDown. It's, it's okay, so it's, it, so it's the actual show. Yeah, it's the actual show that leads to storyline okay. after storyline. Got it, got it. So there's a book called Star Wars The High Republic, and it takes place like... Fuck if I know, I'm not that nerdy. It takes place well before, um, maybe even 100, 200 years before Phantom Menace. All right, you've seen those movies, right? Yes. So, Phantom so it takes, it takes, it. so. That's a lot of money, this, I guess. This, uh, person this crazy out. person, Tommy's going to be Palpatino. <laughs> this crazy person <laughs> wrote this book and it came out just after the uh, Luke Skywalker movie and it tanked, tanked like spectacularly big time. And I, I think it's only fair to, to, to put, what she wrote out there um it's it's pretty wild uh so she um she these there's these guys that cover this sort of left right drama and and I, and I think it's fair to say that they they lean towards the right nothing wrong with that but they leave towards the right and when this woman put this book out they kind of put all her her fucking batshit crazy racist tweets uh here's what she writes white people Fucking stop it. Your racism won't save you. Your ignorance is not an excuse. So this is the nice woman <laughs> that is apolitical that decided to uh, write, uh, uh, write a Star Wars no novel, which is canon. So if they have to make a movie in this time frame, they have to consider her novel, right? They might have right. to consider her novel. So that's, that's why it's canon. You know, you can't... You can't you can't do what they do like you can't just pretend Chris Benoit never was in the company. You know what I mean? I'm speaking right. Jeff now. I'm speaking Jeff. So yeah. I mean, obviously this got um, uh, a, a you know a few people pissed off. I mean, this, this woman's clearly. Uh, um, I, I I think it's fair to say that she, if, if this is this is not an edgy joke, she's she's kind of a bigot. So what? Well, that that sounds like a completely normal thing. Yeah, to say. it's a normal thing to say. <laughs> Your racism won't save you. From what? My racism saves me every day. I get lots of good jokes out of it. Um, yeah. It's just, yeah, she's obviously a hateful cunt. Um, this is uh, not, not, not to. So the people that produced the article went on Andy Signore, who's been on here before. And we had him an interview. We've done a news episode. I've been friendly with him, I guess, a year and a half now. Um, and of course, Andy's been a victim of like, the most fuckedest story on cancel culture I've ever seen. Um, it is one of the fuckedest stuff that I've I've ever seen, and and he's lost a lot. I watched his video on Kevin Smith recently, and uh, it was sucked. It, he he used to, he used to like roll with Kevin Smith, you know, and and Kevin hasn't gotten back to him since 2017. <laughs> and That's they were calling bad. up the Army Weinstein of YouTube. <laughs> Kevin dipped out. But then again, Harvey Weinstein made Kevin Smith, so stop being such a fucking hypocrite, Kevin Smith. All right, so these guys, they write the article, they put out, they put out the information that this woman's a bigot, and Vito kind of takes uh, exception to it, and uh, Andy, I, I, I guess Andy decides to put him on and accidentally uh, rejuvenates internet blood sports, and oh boy. Vito just has like this whole passive-aggressive type thing and it's, it's it's not a good look by any stretch but let's go <laughs> so so, it's, so these three guys right here wrote the article I, I think the guy in the upper john trent wrote the article he okay. he, he brought up he brought up that some of the the, the, the statements okay. she made just, which i think just, is just, wanna, just wanna make sure i have everything yeah. covered here i i don't fucking know i have a fucking cardinal flag on the wall yeah, like, yeah. on, on yes. my window yes. okay like yes I just went, so this guy john trent i don't know too much about these guys i'm not i'm not as familiar I'm more, you know, I, I like I subscribe to Andy. I see what's going on through him sometimes, whatever drama he's going through. But this I thought was interesting. The American, so I have that right to find it racist. She's talking about my skin color. She's talking about my race. And this here, it's white people can't comprehend a person of color being in an establishment where that she's expecting to be victimized. And this is the problem with these with these types of people is that they expect to be victimized. They go on and have a professional victim rant, and then people go. Um, so these guys are definitely on the right. I think we <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's see, definitely. Check nothing wrong with that. Okay. I don't, I, yeah, they, they, wrong. they fit the description. Yes, Got they, it. they're definitely on the right. And, and and I don't know if I disagree with anything they're saying at this point. No, uh, I do not. Not, not as of yet. Go and use the block button unless they cry racism. And you have Star Wars tweeting out, we stand with this person because she's oh, bullied. The biggest you know, part I left out. Okay. You familiar? You know who Gina Carrero is? Probably because you work out. 
Um, she plays Cara Dune on Mandalorian. She's the big fucking jacked up chick that used to be was Ronda Rousey before Ronda Rousey was. I'm surprised you don't know. I haven't, I haven't, right. I haven't watched Mandalorian. I see, you're such a fucking. That's such a good show. You're missing out. Well, anyway, um, Pedro Pascal, the guy who plays a Mandalorian, is kind of putting up with a lot of bullshit. Uh, they they fucking forced him to put his or guilted him into putting his uh, um, pronouns in his bio, and they tried to do it to oh, Kara, oh. and Kara fucking Kara. She's an old school fucking chick, and she fucking slapped him back, and they've been trying to get her shit canned uh, ever since. Um, so this. This woman who writes this book, um, you know, this woman, this, this, this woman writes this book. Uh, she uh, says all these rotten things. These guys pointed out, and Disney, for reasons only understandable to them. I mean, I got a few guesses. Disney decides to say we're standing by this bigot. They didn't stand by Pedro. They didn't stand by. They didn't, they didn't stand by. Who's the black guy? Finn in. Um, uh, what's his name? John Boyega. John Boyega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah they didn't Boyega. stand by Finn. They didn't stand by. Although it wasn't the, the part sucked, and I hated the character uh, Rose Tico. But it's not like it's her fault, you know, that that her character completely sucked and took the wind out of John Boyega. They not Pedro, not Cara Dune. No, we're sticking with the person. That is so fucking clearly a bigot, and we're gonna take a stand against cancel culture using this fucking Nazi. That's All a right, lot of money, I the, guess, that, that's the one they decide to pay. So that's so they dug up the tweets. This is the part I missed. They dug up the tweets and you know exposed her, which so far so fucking good. Now their argument is that Disney is supporting a racist, therefore they have a racist policy. I think. Vito sent me. Let me uh, let me check this real quick, just to put this. I want to be fair. I don't want everybody to get pissed off at me. Um, if they're gonna get pissed off at me, I, I'd rather I, I'd rather actually do something stupid. Um, bu, 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 bu. By the way, Vito is in the chat. Yeah, we'll pull. I told him we pull him if he wants to come in after this segment. Um, yeah, he happy and and any other guys come on, yeah, come on. But let me I, I let me get this story out there. I got to explain it to Jeff. He's kind of a retard, and 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 we're gonna get yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get this uh, whole thing done. <laughs> Where, where, where is it? Uh, bu, 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 bu. I forgot what I was looking for. Damn it. Fuck. A brain fart. Uh, you said Vito, Vito sent, you something, sent you something? Vito did send me something. Okay. Vito sent me. So looking forward to this. Do, 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 do. Oh, he did. Vito did send me something. He sent me that. I'm going to play that later. That's that's important. Uh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is, this is it. I found it. Okay. What do you make of Star Wars officially coming out and openly declaring they believe that all white people are racist? Which is kind of loaded, I admit. Uh, and, and this is from that guy, uh, the right wing guys, right? Yeah. This is their opinion, okay? And I, I don't, this is where I, I think Vito loses it. This isn't a lie. This, this is an opinion. And I think that's pretty clear if you're going to let all these other people, you know, uh, you know, you know, stand in the fire and then you stick up for the one that sounds most like a you know Ku Klux Klansman it's gonna rattle some fucking feathers so so let's watch Vito he kind of okay. he comes off like mega passive aggressive and I think he loses it she's not being bullied she's being questioned for her comments that's what's happening here Gina Carano's being bullied yeah they absolutely. Stay, we stand we, we stand with Chris Ariel uh, uh, we stand with Chris, but not Gina Carano they should they should that's the that's what they should have put on on that tweet but not Gina. And by the way I just want to point out you know I heard Matt Sharbo like suggesting that um you know uh I got Andy like panders to the far right or what have you I have literally been yelled at in a private call by Andy uh, for my Trump support, <laughs> and so he's not a right. He's trying to play you both. Me ends. You mentioned that, like, yes, was it, was it like Andy yelled at me once, like in a private call, nothing to do. With, How could you do? <laughs> it was fucking funny. <laughs> like, did, did, like, didn't you just just like say his name or some shit? No, like, like, what, we were discussing. Uh, I said I liked him, oh, and, and okay. Andy was well, he wasn't a complete idiot, but he's like, I can't believe I. And why? Because I because the, there's. I still, and we've reported on this, there is a significant divide from what we've heard within Lucasfilm between the Kathleen Kennedy faction and the John Favreau faction. Now, the right says that's true of Star Wars. The left said that's absolutely not true. And this whole thing, and the Kathleen Kennedy faction. Here comes Vito. Is, don't they control the, 
they control the Twitter feed, I think, the Kathleen Kennedy faction. Well, they were actually looking sense. for somebody recently. Uh, be interesting to see if Andy believes that. They were looking there. They were advertising for someone to run their social media. And uh, a, certain, a friend of ours, I don't know, if, can I say her name or, or can we not? No. She did it live on the air. Anna, that's well, okay, she did. Yeah, she Anna, that Star Wars girl, she actually submitted her recipe on the air. A few other people, I guess. Andy looks apprehensive. What I fucking do? Yes, but <laughs> they submitted their resumes. On how do I get my beard real nice like his? I don't know how to do that. I'm new in the beard game. If you have you're, ask, you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah, on I that know. One. You have like I'm two sure. hairs on your face. That was wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Well, Vito just joined the chat. Another white guy here, guys. I'm sure we're gonna get criticized for that. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Hey, I, I usually have a very diverse panel, but tonight it's just it is who it is. I don't, I don't judge it. I don't just put, hey, put on people. There's nothing wrong with a hey, group. Yeah. Of white guys. Yeah. Like like. Uh, Andy runs around with a bunch of huge black men um, that you wouldn't want to sit next to if you're incarcerated. <laughs> First of all, but I have to thank I'm Burning Star. Man, uh, he just sent $100 to the Cash App. I got, so I got to These black guys are like the toughest looking dudes you'd ever see. And they're like, you know, like, yo, fuck, fuck Kathleen Kennedy, yeah, bitch. No, just stop exaggerating, but you get the idea. Just to thank you. <laughs> Shit. Thank you, man. I'm here. Did you see Legend 1985 yet? No, but for that, I promise I will. And we'll talk about it on another stream. But th I, I see you. Thank you for the support and the love. I saw some other uh, super chats there. I I'm going to get to them. But There's two unhappy campers here. Vito, who looks like, what does he look like? He looks like an Italian, like a betrayed of Italian in a, like a silent movie that's supposed to be, okay, accent. And then you see John Trent here, who's probably pretty apprehensive as well. As well. But Vito. And, and Vito's whole thing is Disney is not supporting racism or anything like that. Well, he'll explain it better than I will. You're in the building. Vito had some thoughts uh, about the article. I, I, so thank you for coming and saying yourself. But look, I just want to have real conversations because I hate when we can't at least no. ask the tough questions to sort of understand. All right. Well, what is there? Is there a problem we're not noticing? So Vito, go ahead. Ask what you're going to ask. Well, I'm actually having trouble finding the quote that I just provided you. Was there an earlier version of this article? Has this article been edited at some point? No. So where did, what was this quote that Star Wars, what do you think about Star Wars telling all white people that they're racist? Not her. You're, you're talking about another article, I think. Okay, so there's another article on your site Which that is, says, yes, Star Wars says all white people are racist, yes? Yeah, that's the one with all the yes, tweets. Yes, confirms. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, talking about their... their Star Wars and Lucasfilm officially support yep. calling all white people racist. Yep. Okay. So, uh, and real quick, I want to get the exact quote here. What do you make of Star Wars officially coming out and openly declaring they believe that all white people are racist? Yep. Now, your argument is going to be that saying, and here's their statement. Yeah, the Star Wars community, what my argument is before. Yeah, please well, okay, I won't tell you your argument. I'll tell you what their quote is. Our Star Wars community is one of hope and inclusivity. We do not stand for bullying and racism. Except for, uh, you know, fat Italian girls that, play, that are in our movies or TV shows. We support Christina Ariel. Now... I would assume, I, I mean, I don't think it's much of a stretch. You're going to say that anyone who supports her is, uh, as you say, declaring they believe all white people are racist. Anyone who would say you support Christina Ariel, that's the same as declaring that you believe all white people are racist. Is that what you're saying with that statement? No, I'm saying with this statement is a direct response to our article. And if you don't think that, then you're like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. So that is, that does appear to be the case. She got exposed and Disney... Um, put this tweet, Star Wars community is one of hope because we not stand for the bully and the racist and racism we support. Says, well, she, you have no problem with her racism. So it's possible to support her but not think all white people are racists? Uh, the article is literally, this this tweet right here is literally in response to that article. Okay. I 100% believe that. And the article is her uh, calling all white people racist. So, okay. if, if, yeah, if, if they're supporting her, they're supporting her calling all white people racist. And that's I think Star that's a Wars. huge, I think that's a huge disingenuous leap of logic. I Star completely 100% disagree with you, but you're- Star Wars sees opinion. one of their personalities. Again, you say Gina Carino, you want people- A person to they hired her. literally a month ago. Like okay, this month. so they shouldn't defend yeah. her? They can't say that we don't stand for bullying and racism? That's the same as declaring they believe all white people are racists? That's exactly what they did. They're supporting her. They're, they're, they're supporting <laughs> right, what man. she says, right? All right. Dude, no, they don't they, say we they, don't say we support what she said. They said we don't stand for bullying and racism. We support her. Would they support somebody that said, you know, you know, all black people are no damn good? 
I mean, it's not it's not a ridiculous conclusion to come to. It's not. It you know, it simply is not a ridiculous. Uh, you know, especially you know the person they chose to first make a stand against cancel culture. They, it's not a ridiculous. Like, all right, bigotry towards Gina Carrero, bigotry towards John. Uh, uh, we're we're drawing the line here, and it probably more than likely is a response to this article. It's it it's definitely whether it's support of racism or not. It's definitely tolerance. It's a hundred percent tolerance of her bigotry. And if you're going to tolerate somebody's bigotry, especially in their world where uh, even an off-color joke would be considered uh, cancelable, uh, yeah, I, I think you can make I think you can make that leap that they're they're okay with at least very least okay with one type of bigotry and to let other types of bigotry slide. I think that's a reasonable statement. She is under attack for a lot of different things, not necessarily uh, your assumption. What else is she under attack for? She's under attack from people who are, are reading into things that she hasn't said. Because frankly, I read the things that she said. I don't think she said all white people are racist. I think she said, yeah, okay, some maybe annoying social justice type things about race. But to extrapolate that out to, well, I guess Star Wars hates white people. Buddy, Where, I, your, your outlet has such an obvious ideological This is where slant. he goes off the rails. Every yeah. article Thanks, I read Rito. Thank you. is biased I in mean, the same exact... You have, I mean, you've, you've, you've made these same arguments on Twitter before. Yeah. There's nothing I've ever heard. Look, I, I, mean, I, okay. I don't want to... And just so we're clear... On Twitter, like, I, th this, I'm not here to, like, get in a fight with this guy. Yeah, I don't, and, I, and if that's the case, Vito, you've said your point. I'm, I'm not here to try and, to, like, sandbag Okay, John you have a disingenuous, it. terrible outlet on here. These guys are liars and crooks. Have fun. But just so we're clear, Vito, he did. He's a liar. When did Star Wars say all white people are racist? You're a liar. Did he do no Vito? He never stood up for Gina Carano, who has been. And he just took the fuck off. So whatever. But so Vito, sorry for swearing. No, it's fine. And John, I wasn't trying to sandbag you. I he had a question. I I know him. He's been on my stream a bunch. I wouldn't have. I know him as well, and he actively attacks us every chance he gets well and just because look i i like to hear other sides but I, I, please i apologize i didn't mean to like do that to just try and screw you over i want to hear sides i like it but i want to make sure you're prepared and can say what we want but just so we're clear because i, I want to say she did I say mean, it. I, I think i held my own there yeah I mean, and she did say it i'm trying to find the tweet again like yeah you know, she says it, it multiple times look you i can see why people you can i can see both sides to this but for Vito, for you to ignore that, that she's not saying right here that white people are racist. Yeah, it, yeah I, I am. I am a little I fucking see. sick of saying like this. Seems like the the I am Alex argument. Well, I didn't say Slasso was a racist, but I just implied it heavily. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, it's splitting hairs. It's. Uh, I mean, it, it, it it's splitting hairs. It's just. It's just, you're you're arguing over phrases and stuff like this. Clearly, I think we can come to a safe conclusion that this woman at least has a problem with white people, and that's the fucking one they decide, decided to stick up for. So, so, I don't know if, I, 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 get, I get where Vito's coming from to some extent, I don't know if um, Disney is rubber stamping this, but you can make the argument that whether they want to or not, or they're just uh, afraid of a political backlash because the left is a lot more crazy than the right on stuff like this, and they'll, and, and they'll feel it a little more. Yeah, they're definitely tolerant of bigotry. Certainly, that's the case. It, are, are they okay with racism against white people? Well, it, they don't seem to mind it too much. They're not, they're, they're not too, so these guys' opinion is they're okay with it. That's just an opinion. That's not a lie. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. That is their opinion. They feel that Disney is being tolerant of it. You may disagree with it, and that's fair, but to sit there and, and where, where Vito really goes off the rails here is when he says to you, yes, that's what I believe, and then you have a disingenuous, you have a bunch of liars, and what's the lie? The lie is that Disney uh, supports this kind of stuff. I'm sorry, Vito, you can definitely get there from here. It's not much of a stretch. Not much of a stretch. And you can take their past behavior on their inability to stand up before for other for, for other artists that work for them. Uh, but they just, you know, decided to defend the biggest fucking loudmouth and more than likely the one that will get them in the most trouble if they don't defend her. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. If you don't, I don't know if you come in there and say, you start screaming, you're a liar, you're this, you're that. You disagree with it. Just because somebody disagrees with you, it doesn't make you a liar. It may be a stretch. You make a strong argument.
Tommy, I, I think you forgot what time period we live in. A disagreement. Yeah, automatically I mean, like, that, well, that's the thing. You mean, you know, like, that, that's where Vito looks ridiculous. That's exactly where the Vito looks ridiculous. He had a, a he had a bias money, going in on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pull Vito's in. He had a bias going in with. He doesn't like these guys. Maybe he had, doesn't. Maybe he has a a great reason not to like these guys. Maybe they are. Uh, totally, but, but he had a bias. Like when when he heard that, yes, this is what I believe. You're disingenuous and you're a liar. Ah, oh, come on, man. I mean, what the fuck is this? Now, I'm not done there. Andy Signore, as we all know, is the cancel culture guy, the guy that got can uh, the the uh, the guy that got um can uh, the Patrick, guy that got Patrick completely Kane. fucked Patrick Kane. Yeah, for for you hockey fans. Uh, the guy that got that. There's like two people who got and, that you know, and, and I, I will say this: if you're going to, you know, be anti cancel anti culture, unless you're just going to be as bad as the lefties are, and they're pretty pretty fucking bad. Uh, you know, it, this kind of stuff is this is pretty stupid. They think that they're in the right, and then this is their mission, but uh, they don't they don't see themselves as being bullies. Yeah, it, yeah, they see him on their cells on the right side of history, John. He's one hundred percent right about that. That's how they justify it. Right, yeah. yeah, John. Like, do you want her to be fired? Uh, personally, yeah, I think I think they would be just in firing him. <laughs> I, mean, I don't agree with you there. Why? Why do you say that? <laughs> She's a racist. And, oh. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And see, if you start to, you know, yeah, I, I agree with her. She's racist. And I think there's an argument to be made. If you're going to start shit canning, if, if you're going to start shit canning people for being racist, you get, you, you definitely got to do it on both sides. And they don't. So you, by that argument alone, you can say, hey, they're okay with one type of bigotry. They're okay with racism towards rights. So it's, it's not that much of a stretch. It's not that much of a stretch. But, I mean, you want her fired? You kind of defeat your own argument unless you're just doing what the SJWs do, and, and, and let, let, so it's like this. But you know, Vito, you, know, you sent me this kind of after the fact. That's not what you were arguing. You asked the guy what he believed. He told you yes, and you called him a liar for what he believed. And then you sent me this after the fact. Okay, you're both hypocrites. <laughs> like, look, I, I don't, I don't know what there is to prove here. But it's just, and and, and let's not remember this is fucking Star Wars. You know, I understand. I don't, I don't mind the political discussion, but it, it's just it just doesn't make anybody look good. You want to get her fired? That's what this is about. Well, here's the thing: those guys got every right to dig up whatever the fuck they want. But as soon as they said, "Yeah," and shit can her, well, you just kind of lose your all your moral authority. If all you got to say is, "Look, I just want the shit out there," whatever Disney decides, Disney decides. And I understand because you kind of got to be bigger than the people you're fighting against. And I think, I, and I get the frustration. The left doesn't do that. They never do that. They're always about defeating their enemies. Never about coming together or unity or anything like that. They just want, and they don't apologize for it. And you know, I, another thing, you know, and I could see you saying something like this because you, you pretty much were like this with Trump when I, uh, when during the election riots. Um, if let's let me turn this on its head. Uh, where, where's that fucking? Uh, where's that? Um, that where, where's her? bigoted fucking tweet here let me just reverse this shit i work for star star wars and uh let's get this i hope it doesn't show my dms okay you could just change screen but you know black people fucking stop it your idiocy won't save you your ignorance is not an excuse and i could completely see Vito saying hey look the guy asked for it and that's the fucking problem Nobody ever, put, this is where I, I act like I'm better than everybody and I'm neutral, <laughs> but no, it really is the fucking problem. That's the problem. You don't have people on the left are like, yeah, well, look what he said. And, 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 and then, and then when it doesn't fit their uh, personal agenda, uh, I'll stop being such a cancel culture freak. Oh, come on. Give me a fucking break. Nobody's downshifting. Nobody's toning down the red rhetoric. It, 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 it's utterly ridiculous. So what you're going to happen, every action has an equal, equal, an opposite reaction. Nobody's toning down the shit in the left. So you're getting right-wing guys pop up and they're trying to cancel the fuck every, everybody. Nobody fucking downshifts. Nobody fucking backs off. And they're fighting over Star Wars. 
I do believe I'm a right leaning guy. I do believe there's a fucking probably a split in there. I do believe it's politically motivated. I don't think I mean, if you look at far left governments in the pet, they get in every fucking aspect of your life, including fucking pop culture. There is no part of their religious day where they're not fucking living up to their 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 goddamn uh, values and shoving them down people's throats like fucking 80s Christian douchebags that I had to deal with growing up. There's no part of the day. <laughs> but I don't know about like joining them. I don't know. I, I don't know. If, I, I don't know if that makes your publication good. Does it make you a liar because you think they're rubber stamping? Is it? Is there? Is there possible they're okay with white racism, racism but not black racism? Sure. But you know, as far as being disingenuous, I think the guy was as genuine as fuck. Uh, you know, he sat there and said to you, 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 you asked him, do you believe that they're they're rubber stamping this? And he was like, yes, that's pretty genuine. <laughs> that's that's pretty genuine. So everybody looks bad. Nobody looks good. And this kind of stuff, I mean, it's really, one of the reasons I'm doing this, it's, it's kind of a, a metaphor of what's going on in the, in, in, in the country I hail from. George Thank Lucas, you, George gay. Lucas. I was Thanks, literally George. just about to make yeah, that comment. This is gay as fuck. Now, Vito, does Vito want to be on to defend himself? Because I was pretty critical. Is he, does he want to come in? Yeah, yeah, he's in waiting. All right. <sighs> Vito, you can't Jesus, do that. Man. Vito, are you on? Vito, you're live. Oh. So, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You can't do that, man. You're as bad as I him. You can't do which which thing. I don't know. Jesus Christ. He told you what he believed, and you're telling him a liar for what he believed? Well, let's put it this way. He's either a liar or one of the stupidest people I've ever encountered. And you know, I, I guess it's very possible he's the latter. Let me ask you a question real quick. Sure. Do you think Do you think Star Wars thinks all white people are racist? What? I, it's, that, that's irrelevant. That's not really relevant. I know you asked me that in, on Twitter. Well, I want you to know if do you think it's a stupid opinion? Do you think no? Do I think it's a stupid opinion? After no, based on the history and what they presented, no. I, I think they. I think it's not. It's, you it's think not a ridiculous opinion. That Star Wars. Let's let's make it more. Wait a minute. I, I just told you it wasn't fucking relevant. You're still going to pull me in there? I don't no, think I it's relevant. Why, I, I don't wanna, think it's wanna, relevant at all. What I think. You think? Okay, so I, well, I, I, I here's what I think. Clear. Here's Lucas what I think. Film, I don't Lucas think film. it's ridiculous to get there. You don't have to pull me in personally. I go. I don't think it's a ridiculous place to get, considering they only stuck suck up for the racist black girl. If you think it is, so you think it's reasonable to mm -hmm. say Lucasfilm thinks all white people are racist. I no, no, I don't. I, I don't know about that, but I don't. You just said no, you but I no, no, no. You're trying because you, you keep on asking the same question over and over again, Vito. It's, it's a, I don't know. There's a couple of things. They could be afraid of the political backlash from the left and not from the right. There could be a thousand reasons. Or That's there could different. be a bunch of That's fucking different. bigots. There could be a bunch of fucking bigots running that, that account. So, and I tell you something, if this came down from Kathleen Kennedy and she said, you stick up for her, fuck Gina Carrera, I'm trying to get her fired. Yes, absolutely. Here's the thing. They don't know and neither do you and neither do I. I think that it is a hugely disingenuous leap of logic to say that because, and you can look at this, again, we read the quote on air, we stand with Ariel uh, Stiskis against bullying. So they're specifically re referring, again, to the people who are sending her messages of hate, who are sending, now you can say, no, no, they're just covering for the people who are criticizing her, of which I'm sure there is fair criticism, but they didn't say, you know, we're standing up against, she didn't do anything wrong ever. We're saying but this we is the burly her, person, uh, so you can't. Bullying. So it's a huge leap. The only person they stuck up for is the black bigot, and it's a huge leap for you. I mean, I don't know if they've stood up for other people in the past. You're saying because they didn't stand up for Gina, in Gina, the uh, Boyega. You can go right down the list. They never made a st sure. statement this strong. Okay, but how is that uh, proof? That Star Wars. It's not proof. It's a red flag. It's not. Racist. It's not proof. It's you a red flag. It. It's not proof. No, 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 it's a red no. flag. But you can say logically they're not being fair with all the people in their stable. They're more biased towards certain marginalized communities. That's way different than saying. But Star that's what Wars those guys believe. You said it was a lie that they believed it. That's ridiculous, Vito. I, I, and I've, I've, I've adjusted it to say it's either a lie or they're very, very stupid. It's really that because stupid. I can't get there. Is it really I stupid? You, the, for the reasons you gave, there. Vito, Vito, for the reasons you gave, the fact that this is the only yeah. person they stuck up for, they didn't give up. I don't know if it's as much of a leap as you think. Is it a leap? I'll give you that. But is it really just, is it, is it fucking JFK and a third shooter? No, it's not. 
If I say I uh, stand with Tommy and the bullying against him, and it turns out that eight months ago you said some horrible thing about yeah. black people, does that mean I've endorsed everything you've ever tweeted? No, does that mean I came to I you in a time think, when you were being attacked on Twitter? I don't Twitter think that, but your record, yes. your record, the here, here's the thing. You have a record of sticking up for people on the both sides. They don't. I don't know the full history of everyone Lucasfilm has ever stood up for. I know they've stood up for I think what, this is Kelly completely Marie unique. Gran. Didn't they stand up for Daisy Ridley at one point? They've stood up for Ryan Johnson. Not like, like this. Guy. And not like this. And those guys are nowhere near as not big. Like this. No, they no. They, Ryan, they, Johnson. They Ryan Johnson isn't a fucking foaming at the mouth bigot. Okay? And, and okay. neither is Daisy. He, she is. Why? If Star Wars hates white people, why is it run by white people? Why do the movies star white people? Like, there's more outside. It may, of the Star it may Wars be because there's so. It may be because there's such idea. I don't know. I can't get you're, in people's you're fucking head. You're defining Star Wars as an entity by one tweet, where you can look at. They employ so many white people in positions of leadership. Do you think John Favreau is not a white guy? Do you think uh, whatever that? Guy I, I, I think Cowboy they could. Well, I, I also think it could be just ideal. It might not be bigotry. It might be ideology. This ideology is alone. Hyperbolic beyond. A, a you you made it hyperbolic. Doubt. What are you talking about? You're, you're like, like how Star could you? Wars they, the, the one big they they pick the bigot and you're shocked out of your mind that people are coming to these conclusions. It is so outrageous. I mean, come here's on, it's thing. not that outrageous. Here's the thing. Tommy, if they had published an article that said, here's all the questionable racial things this woman has said, I'd have no issue. If they said, this woman has said statements that appear prejudiced towards white people, I'd have no problem. But the article is, Star Wars says all white people are racists. And why did they publish that? The man said it himself. We put that information out there because I think this woman should be fired. Well, and I agree. I, 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 I don't know if you heard right. I don't, I, I, look, you don't have to get the cancer. I think they're absolute hypocrites, and I 100% agree with you on that. But right. I, I, I mean, well, an it's not, we're, we're talking about whether it's a leap or not. Someone. We're talking right, about whether ahead. it's a leap or not. It's not that much of a leap considering their history. It's not. What's an easier way to get? And here's the thing: fired. just because you're Say, white, here's the I want to go back a little bit. Just because you're white, you could be a total left wing kook ideologue and think it's okay to fucking say horrible people things about white people. And uh, let me tell you something: plenty of Hollywood uh, folks are very, very comfortable with doing that. So it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. Now you're saying it's not a racial lines, and maybe you're right, but it definitely could be on ideological lines. And you know what? That's just de facto racism then. So, and here's another if thing. You, their, yeah, tw their official mouthpiece supported this person. No way this would be reversed if this was Mark Hamill. No fucking way. So it's not as much of a I just, I just fundamentally disagree with you. It's not that big a leap. Now, you, they may be biased. Yeah. They may be biased. But a lot of people could definitely come to that conclusion on their own without their help. That's all I'm saying. People, yeah. I want to address the people in the chat are saying it was okay when Gina tried to get canceled, but now it's bad. The point is it was bad both times. Oh, nobody disagrees with you. But here's the thing. Well, their mouthpiece, the their official know, mouthpiece. I know someone who, Tommy, I know someone who disagrees with me. The editor-in-chief of Bounding in Comics disagrees with me. Okay. He thinks Gina does not deserve to be canceled. He believes this woman, uh, this, this, uh, she's not the writer of the books, by the way. She's a host of a new show okay. on their YouTube. She's not the writer of the so books. She's really a nobody when it comes down okay. to it. Uh, he believes that she deserves to be canceled. He's not taking the both sides argument. He's who's not taking the both sides argument. Bounding into comics believes some people. Oh, deserve oh well, to be canceled, I'm, I'm kind of talking about you, but right I'm talking about you, them. buddy. His hypocrisy has been exposed. I'm not, I, I can't argue with him. If he was here, I'd be arguing with the same way. All right, what he's a hypocrite. But, but we're talking about whether it's a ridiculous statement or not. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's as bad as you think. And, and, and here's, a, think, here's another thing. Yeah. Let's say you're 100% right. Let's just pretend for a second. You deserve whatever you get when you fucking make a statement like this and back somebody up that said so, so, something so hateful. So if people, if white people come to that conclusion on their own, that's on Star Wars. An official mouthpiece for them supported this person after what she said, and it was more than likely responding to their article. Now, you could be correct. They don't rubber stamp this stuff. They're not saying it. But you are walking a fine fucking line if you're going to back somebody that hateful. And this is just a backlash the backlash for it. All right. When the news said Trump says all Mexican people are rapists, were you okay with those kind of headlines? What? Well, of course not. Of course not. But well, I, I, I just, I just think that's. I personally think that's much worse. 
Trump said Mexicans are rapists, and then they said, well, we are allowed to interpret that as him saying all No, Mexicans yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I get that, but it, this is, I, I don't think it's the same no, thing. No, no, no. This is kind of the exact same thing. No, it really isn't. Taking a statement and making what I would say is a very disingenuous leap of logic. I'm not saying you, you, you have a right, you have a right to, no, no, dude, you have a right to say, think this is disingenuous. So you have CNN a right to think has a right logic. to say Trump uh, what, believes what, all What Andy was trying to get across to you, and what I'm trying to get across to you, not everybody that believes the, uh, the, the, the latter is an idiot. That's all. So you don't think CNN or idiots? Well, why are, well, why, is, why are you arguing with me trying to make, why don't you argue with my argument instead of trying to make me look like a hypocrite? All right, just argue with Mark. I think you are being a hypocrite right now. From what? I think it's wrong. I think it is lying. Uh, here's CNN another thing. Hey, hey, listen, Trump listen, listen. Veto, 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 veto. If I'm a hypocrite, it doesn't change this fucking argument. All you've proved is I'm a hypocrite. If I was a murderer and I told you murder wasn't wrong, murder is wrong. Yeah, I'd be a hypocrite because I murdered somebody. But that doesn't change the situation. So it's not about me. Like, if you, well, what, what would this? you do if your daughter got pregnant at 15? Would you be pro abortion then? That's the same argument you're giving me. I'm, all I'm so saying, all Andy was trying okay. to point out, it's not that big a leap. You may be, I'll even go, I'll even go this far, Andy. Uh, uh, excuse me, Vito. Uh, you might be right. A lot of money, I guess, they may be for, being disingenuous, but I do believe you can get there from what they supported. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Do you believe that you can get to where CNN got with what Trump said? What? So, so you, I'm, a, I, I'm going to give it to you. I'm a big fucking hypocrite. You win the argument. I, you didn't hear I, what I'm I just not, said? Did you I hear what I just know. said? Because I honestly think that when CNN publishes something like that, it's just as dis disingenuous as what's happened here. All right, if you I believe that, that's fine. But I, you're trying finish, to put this on. I'm not finish. just, uh, look, I, 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 I just said that I think let you would. Let me finish. You, look, okay. Can I finish? Yes. Okay. I think right now we live in an era where people are being taken out of context, where we're making a lot of assumptions about mm -hmm. what people say. Bounding into comics claims to be a news site. They claim to be journalists. Oh, come on. It's and Star right now, Wars, Vito. Right. <laughs> we come live on. in a, It's not the New York Times. It's just YouTube horseshit. So, but here's the problem is we've said, well, we can't trust the mainstream media, so we're going to trust these independent sources. Okay. But these independent sources are playing the exact same fucking game. In some game. sense, I agree with and you. And it's some... In some, in some cases, sense, I agree they're playing the games far worse than any mainstream media outlet ever did. So I don't understand why people would say, well, you can't trust the mainstream news, which I agree with. No, I didn't make that but argument. But then they go, but you, but I I, I'm not saying you are, but there are people out there who say you can't trust the mainstream think. news, but you can trust these small independent outlets. And I want to say, you know what? I don't think you can because we have guys out here who I think this is a disingenuous statement. Okay. Maybe they believe it. But they don't say, this is an editorial, this is my opinion. They present it as cold, hard news. Nowhere I on that site they, do I... I don't believe I don't know, I think they present it as say, opinion. This is my editorial. How could Star Wars ever be cold, hard news in anything? It's. I think it's just an opinion. They believe cold that this You could Disney write that as cold, hard news. It's not cold, hard. It's Star Wars, man. It's just you Star could Wars. write that article to say, Star Wars writer has controversial tweets about race. Post yeah, the well, they decided not to do themselves. that. That thing has... Look, just because they're slanted doesn't mean they're disingenuous. With genuine. I agree with you. They're slanted. I, I, I open the show. They're definitely on the right. Okay. And, you can, and you can make an so, argument. You so can make the headline. Is, 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 is Disney comfortable with this kind of... Uh, promoting somebody or supporting somebody with this kind of bigotry? They you can didn't do both say, ways. is Disney comfortable? They said Disney has agreed that all white people... Uh, are racist and why did that they come to that conclusion and line. why did they come to that conclusion could, Vito? i would love tommy if they had phrased it the way you said yeah i i wouldn't have phrased it that, that way but Tom, that's they but, these, but but uh, they phrased they, it that way it appears that they don't have and, and look Vito, you're the one that melted down when they stood by it they stood by it they said yes that's what we, we believe and then you called them a liar for believing something i mean that's I just believe, as, i believe they're liars okay fair enough it's very yeah. possible they're just stupid Okay. The same way, the right. same way I think the people at CNN who said Trump said all. I Mexicans agree with you there racist, too, but I, I, think, I just don't. You think, think, it's think that those serious. people are liars? I think that those yeah. people are liars who said that. Well, I think everybody should take both mainstream and internet news, cold hard Star Wars, with a grain of salt. I don't think there is anything and ever was a trustable news source. You got to put the pieces bit together yourself. Maybe not, but yeah. I don't. Th I think there's value when you have these statements, which are so hyperbolic and you can mm -hmm. say well there's some evidence it's there, hyperbolic but if you i agree going to masquerade as a just call your just say it's an editorial if at the top it said editorial here's my thoughts 
here's the personal thoughts he, of me, editor in chief John. Trump. I don't know. We dude. wouldn't be having this discussion. Yeah, I know. But, but it's, it's Star, you know, it's Star Wars. It's that's Star not news. Wars. That's an editorial. Yeah, I, you're look in the strictest sense. I'm gonna 100 percent agree with you, but I'm sorry. This is about clicks. Don't hold their feet you, to the fire. Yeah. Well, I, well, you did, I guess, but you didn't make. I don't think you won anybody over with that tactic. It did you see? You didn't read the chat. The chat was like, "Vito is right." I have screenshots. No, but I, I, I guess. Well, then you win. I guess. Arguments. Then you win. I guess. It, it just looked like you, you were angry. I and honestly off did and hated win. And now you've taken this clip, frankly, out of context a little bit. You don't have the, you know, twenty minutes they spent basically contradicting themselves at every turn and admitting. I we just said get they were a bunch of fired. hypocrites. What else do you want me to do? Yeah, you, this is well, fucking I'm shot for the point. I it's not that serious. It's not. It's not that. I, saying, just, I said they were hypocrites. Absolutely, I made that abundantly clear. And I appreciate that. But I want people to know. Look, I've read a lot look, of articles. Nobody with, with the way you're doing this, you're winning. Guys. Look, you're winning. Nobody over with this. I guarantee. In the grand scheme of things, I don't think you are. It just makes you look bitter. That's all it, I'm think, saying. I think that people who care about misinformation and news are going to be the silent majority in the end. Right. I think right now there's people who are listening who go, you know what? This was a news site, and that is editorializing. It is needless editorializing. If they believe they have a point and they're a news site, they can present the information fairly and balanced and let the audience decide. But they decided to take it one step further and say, Star Wars thinks all white people are racist, mm. which I'm going to say is a blatant lie. I'm it's definitely hyperbolic. Maybe I'll give you really that. really that stupid, yeah. but it is not news. That is editorializing. <laughs> all right. Like, look, if Tommy, Tommy, I love you. I love, I love you, too, buddy. Take care, man. Thanks for coming. You know, you know, I oh. love you. No, Thanks no, I, I, I do. Look, I don't think any less of you either. It's just like, I, I also I, don't think worse of you. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I really I, think these guys are liars and scumbags. If, if, and you're and entitled to fucking think that. For but it's like, you don't give them any room to fucking have their fucking hate, so to speak. They got <laughs> another four hours of the show to defend themselves. And yeah. If you All go right. watch the well, I, I, show, look, if, if one of them they called in. talking about why James Gunn deserved to be fired. Oh, yeah, I that's think outrageous. they kind of buried No, and, and, and look, there, there is right-wing cancel culture. It's not as prevalent as left-wing, but it's out there. And James Gunn is probably always the best example because he made a bunch of fucking pedo jokes. Yeah, big deal. I mean, we used to make those jokes when I was in high school. You're absolutely fucking Yeah, we're right. not allowed to make those jokes anymore. Yeah, I, well, exactly. Fight, uh, there, there's something I think is more righteous to fight against. Pedo jokes. <laughs> I wanna, I'm want to. i going to head out. I just want to say one thing. Oh, Guys, sure. if you read Bounding into Comics, I highly recommend that you go watch Andy Signore's stream and see some of the things these guys have okay. said. Again, we bring up James Gunn, and they start going, well, he had some tweets that were over the line. James Gunn did not deserve to be fired. Gina Carino does not deserve to be fired. Mm -hmm. And I would say this author, even though she, yeah, has said some things no, I don't about think she race. Be fired I'm not endorsing things she said, and I know Tommy, you don't. No, We're not absolutely. these social justice types. No, no, I, I, and I don't think, think you sometimes are. Sometimes they go way too far, and they do generalize. Do you, let me ask I'm you one question before you leave. Said, it's a little. I'm under... not going to bury the entire Star Wars organization. Do you think? Do you think this is kind yeah. of a result of? uh cancel culture in the sense that i mean yeah we're, we're seeing on both sides now it's fucking it's 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 a snowball gathering more i i, I will say this from somebody that i consider myself right wing and i don't i don't have any problem with that do you the fact that people don't ever defend anybody on free speech or or on cancel culture if their ideology is different and i especially see that in the left and i don't see that as much on the right don't you you know don't you think that this is possibly spawning these hyperbolic uh, headlines and what have you. And maybe these guys aren't just like the worst guys in the world. It's just actually the way they feel. Well, that's the thing is I actually totally agree with you. The, yeah. the left is often yeah. super disingenuous. I bring yeah. up the CNN. I know, you uh, know I'm saying. a lefty. Yeah, and you I know, know I'm a lefty. I'm a Biden voter. Yeah, okay. But in my heart of heart, I'm also a free speech advocate. And I hate misinformation because i think misinformation destroys free speech mm. we can't have free speech if we use it to lie each other because then it just we have to be willing to call out misinformation and i agree the left mm. obfuscates and lies and it blows things out of proportion sure. a lot of trump statements were blown out of proportion sure. uh, and i like to think i'm one of the guys who was out there saying well that's not exactly what trump said let's put it into context but i think you know, if you went I in there and attacked the fact that it was bug. hyperbolic and I think if you went in there, uh, just like be be funny, Vito. You know, you're a really funny guy. And I think you went in there with Thank a you. smile instead of being a passive aggressive and angry. You would have fucking smoked those guys. Smoked. It's them. true. 
Yeah. But the thing is, I've had I've had encounter I've called them out in the past on yeah. this, and every time it's a wink and a nod and a oh, you just don't understand what the news is. And I'm like, no, you guys don't publish news. I have asked them. I have said, can you yeah. please on your site just be honest with everyone and say we are a conservative site. Yeah, I we hate when the lefties do that too. Exclusively I, I, from a conservative viewpoint. Don't pretend to be an unbiased. I source. agree with you on and that. And I would have no issue yeah. with that. But they obfuscate and lie about it. Okay. And with this little wink and this little nod, they go, "No, we're not. We have no bias, Vito." Uh, Come on. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, <laughs> I've never seen I any agree article on their side in any sort of liberal cause or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, but I, I will say this: I think there's a distinct possibility. There's a bunch of fucking white-hating bigots that some of them may have European background that are fucking sticking. I think I don't think that's just out of the realm of possibility. Is George Lucas or fucking the people at the top? Probably not. But I could totally see how people got there. Totally, and I think you should yeah. give those people a break. Is what I'm saying. Maybe I, these, not, guess, maybe not these yeah, jack offs. No, no. All right, uh, but y y I I'm sorry. It, if if you heard that opposite, it'd be like, you know what? Fuck that bitch. That white girl. Hello, what she said. She asked for it. Instead of saying, look, it cancel culture on both sides is fucked up, which you do, by the way, and so do I. But well, know. here's here's the question, and here's what I was trying to sure. get at is, we have this issue where you can say the left is lying, maybe more than the right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not going to try and put a value on that. Sure, it's but but let's let's even assume let's even assume that the left lies and you know disguises the truth more than the right, and it probably has more influence because they control more media outlets. I'm mm -hmm. even willing to say that. Okay, what's the solution? Now, there's two arguments. One mm -hmm. is to say the left is doing it. We need to fire back and do the mm -hmm. same thing. We're also yeah. going to lie. We're also going to push the truth because it's only fair that we get to do both. Mm -hmm. And, and that's the way to solve it. No, the other argument is to say forever. we put a line in the sand and we say disinformation of all stripes is wrong. People need to be honest with each other. We should not live in a realm of lies and disinformation. See, and I, I understand see, that it is very angering to see someone like Gina Carino get thrown under the bus. Mm -hmm. And you now have an opportunity to say, well, they didn't defend her. Yeah. So I'm not going to defend this woman. Mm -hmm. I think this just leads to an endless tit for tat where we eventually end up living in a I world where everyone is lying to each other all the time. I don't and that disagree, is my but the greatest you, fear. The only thing I disagree with you is the fact that they're lying. That means knowingly putting out this information, knowingly telling the truth. I think they believe that. And that's a lot different than lying. That's that's I think they believe that. I do. I could be wrong. Sure. And I have no problem with somebody who does believe that. I don't I, I'm come I'm somewhere in between. I think there's probably a bunch of bigots over there, but I'm sure the head of Disney is not like anti-white, you know. I yeah, or and, whatever. And I'll, and I'll make Star Wars. this point. Yeah, I think there's leftists who really believe that Trump said all Mexicans are rapists. I talked say, to, I've talked to them. If before. you interpret <laughs> yeah. that line, yeah. they do believe that. That's not them necessarily mm. lying either. Mm. So oh no, is, I I, I totally yeah we yeah. we don't disagree on that part at all. And you know, I like. I think with, for the overall thing, everybody's got a fucking downshift. You know, I mean, yeah. You know, you didn't seem too unhappy. Well, we, you didn't seem too unhappy when yeah. Trump got clipped. And and you know, when, I wasn't I was unhappy like, when Trump got clipped. You didn't seem that unhappy when Trump got clipped. Which, which clip? Uh, clipped. I uh, this is expression. In other words, got kicked off of Twitter. Oh, okay. Well, because uh, I believe that Trump has put stuff out there that, again, is just misinformation for which. He does not. Well, who back makes it that up. call? What's that? Who makes that call? Because we're gonna kick people. We're gonna we're gonna silence people's speech if they're not telling the truth. That, well, that's it's not, tough that's... to decide who makes that call. But I mean, how about nobody? Trump, <laughs> let me let me point out. Here's here's the, here's the tweet that Trump put out that I have the biggest problem with. Mm. Uh, at one point, he put out a tweet that says Dominion Voting Systems has deleted 2.3 million votes. Okay. Th that source is not backed up by, by anything. anything. Yeah. There's so, no record of two. So to be silent, I mean, we're gonna, get, even, we're gonna get rid of all tabloids. Go we're gonna. I mean, that sounds like a slippery slope in a fucking half. You know, it's it's well, legal to lie. Slope. It's totally legal to lie. And, oh, slippery slope by judging by what lie, you could put yes. out in the public. Uh, uh you know, you have to. What are you gonna have truth police? And then, oh, there's if no Trump, way that'll get politically slanted. That's why the First Amendment is across the fucking board, except for violence. And that's, that's I'm the undecided principle. now. First, here's the thing. I don't think Trump. I don't think they were right to ban him for what they ended up banning him for. Yeah. They banned him for saying they were such saying taking a statement and saying, "Well, he's justifying violence." 
I think if you read those uh, tweets, there's no way to say it was justifying violence. Yeah. And I honestly still don't know where I stand on Trump getting removed from Twitter. I'm not saying I endorse it, but it does present a conundrum for me. Mm. Because I look at a guy like Trump and I say, I want, I want you to tell me the truth. You're the you can't most make powerful somebody tell you the truth. The world. And now, you know, you can't make somebody tell you the truth. That's why you keep it open. You don't have fucking, you know, big tech douchebags telling you, deciding what the truth is and the truth isn't. Because once you've established that, they make the truth, whether it's true or not. Right. You and know? that's what's troubling. But I don't know what I do. But that's all right. But see, so the thing is, is, like, is, like, no, like no, I don't want right, to bring up. I, I really didn't want yeah. to do the Trump thing. But it, it's just like you seem to be celebrating it. And yet you're calling these guys cancel culture is kind of my point. I don't think I've I haven't celebrated Trump. I, I, you seem to be. I, 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 I'm I not. I'm, I'm leaving that up for you to explain yourself. But it did come off that way to me. I mean, you're, and you're entitled to do that. Sure. And I'm not saying like you're the worst guy in the world. Plenty of people I know can't stand Trump. But it's just when you take these kind of, you know, when you grandstand on. On, on something on misinformation and, and 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 also free speech at the same time, which you've taken some some pretty you know you, you, I I'm, Vito does take chances. He's not he doesn't try to please both sides. Isn't this no thing? But when you do that, it just creates more anger. And I think if you just, if you went in there and was comedian Vito and pointed out their hypocrisy, I think you would have I think you would have aced them, dude. I don't think People are right. asking if I uh, defended cuties in the chat. Uh, yes, as a piece of free speech. We can have that discussion some other time. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not, you had here, a rough week. I'm not bringing that up. I just, I just got to make sure the chat hates me so they have a good reason. <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Here's not, where I ultimately land on Trump. Is no, I don't believe he should have been removed from Twitter. Okay. But... Oh, that's going to be taken out of context. The only but there is we need to find a way that people can verify things that are... When, when we do. We already adding, have a way. We have other reporters and what have you. We already have well, a way. You know what? I don't even want, I don't even want Twitter to be, be doing uh, it. I wish I. that we had third-party sources verifying information. Sounds and when somebody posts something on Twitter and it gets traction, I want there to be some sort of sources that we... we Trust. In There's no some such respect. thing. But the thing is, what you're asking for, you're in. asking for world peace. That's that's what you're asking for. That's a problem. I, mean, it's just, it's I just, just don't know where. I, I don't know how we have a society where we we can't find the truth. I don't well, know how I, we function. I just leave. We, we actually, I mean, honestly, we historically, we, we usually only age. find out the truth ten years after the fact on just about every major event in world history. So it's this is nothing new. This is no more an emergency than it was fucking fifty hundred years ago with the press. I don't know, and, man. I like. I, I look that. at 1984 as a guidebook of where we're, we're heading towards. Because oh, I, I, right I, now, I would agree if you to, wanted but to convince 1984 the would that be we're at war with East Asia, like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But you know, one of the things lessons you should take away from 1984 is the fact that they decide what's true and what's not. I mean, and and that's kind of what you're asking for because you don't know there's a way. I think that's what you are accidentally asking for. Well, here's, look, here's I, I don't like Vito. You know, I wanted to do Star Wars. I didn't want to get in a political debate. I know. You know yeah, I did. I just want to say, sure. when you consider how much power you know Twitter has for sure. free speech, consider that the president of the United States has power. Yeah, I suppose he has the ability to. Speak. It's not. I, I don't know uh, how relevant that is, though. I don't know how relevant. I mean, I'm not a free speech absolute by any stretch. But, we are going uh, down a rabbit hole. Yeah, we're going I'm rabbit not hole. really yeah, prepared yeah. for. No, you, so, you, you, hey. you defend, you, I, I think you defended yourself. I think I think I fairly God put you outside, you. and I think uh, I fairly I, challenged you. I think I think that was a good discussion. I do want to tell you about a project I'm working on. Uh, I've recently contacted the producers of the movie Cuties. We're looking into doing an animated series. <laughs> you it's going to be in space. <laughs> They're going to be fighting space monsters. Uh, if you would like to support that project, hashtag Cuties Nation on Twitter. Well, Thank that you guys for having me. <laughs> God bless you. Take care. We can we'll still make these jokes. All we the can better. still make these jokes. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Make them. Make them. All right. That, that's 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 Fido. So I think I was... Was I fair, Chad? I think I was fair. So fucking gay. I hate it. Shut I up. Shut up. I'm doing a show here. Shut up. <laughs> I think it was great. And by the way, I totally extended hand for those guys to come on. I don't think they can come on now. If they could, I... You know, whatever. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll let them get their side out there, too. But, I mean, I think what it comes down to is I don't think it's as ridiculous as he thinks and I don't know that they're being dis disingenuous that's it he they may be fuck but you you you're going to fucking get behind a, a woman like that and 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 expect everybody to think it's like uh oh we're only sticking up for her because we don't like the the terrible things that were said to her <laughs> you know and she wasn't I I guess I got that wrong so I apologize with the movie so I'm going to put people in I'll take calls now uh, uh, clownfish, you're on here. 
Clownfish, don't you want to talk to Jeff? Clownfish, what do you live in? Oh, good time, Sean here. Uh, Go ahead, what's up? Um, the only thing I kind of disagree about him. Yeah. Is that he likes movies. Well, you could talk at the show. I mean, you're on. Yeah. What oh, are you doing? Right. You gonna, you gonna? No, we're off the air. You're in a private call. Yeah. Right what are you now. gonna do? You gonna play fucking Apex now? What the fuck, dude? Talk to me. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I'm in. A, you're in a fucking live stream. You gotta talk, bro. I'm joking. Yeah. Go. Um, uh, Vito. The one thing I, I guess Vito kind of makes a point mm -hmm. is um. It's just that he make. I guess he, yeah, he could have kind of, if he did what. All right. <laughs> Sip man, yada yeah. Sip man. Oh, you suck too. And then fucking DJ T, the two who, who who nobody can understand except me on a Sunday. I'm sorry. Sip man, you're on the air. What's up? Hey, how's it going, man? How are you, sir? Yeah. Uh I, I think Vito uh, really just lost that whole thing. Uh, I think he just went way too hard on his own thoughts and just manifested I, I, that and I, just let his emotions look, I, get hang of him. I think what he, look, I think we like each other, right? And I think he really yeah. dislikes those guys. But I, I oh, look, yeah. and, I, and by the way, I've done this too. You know, when I just like, like, I can't, I think Real Stream News is probably the best guy. I could probably, you know, I, I could have kicked that guy's fucking teeth in, but I was so angry he called me a pedo that I couldn't see straight. So there's obviously something there. And I, he kind of agreed with me on if he'd have handled it. You know, if he'd have handled it like the cuties joke, I think he would have owned, yeah. you know, completely owned. Yeah, because it is on I both agree. sides. He's not wrong, you know. I agree with both of you on the uh, fact that, like, these people that are, like, posting themselves as news outlets, journalists, or whatever, when they're really, you know, something else. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I call my fucking stuff news, but I, I mean, I get the feeling everybody knows what the fuck I'm doing. It's slanted. It's biased. I mean, I try to be, you know, just because you're slanted and bi biased, I, I'm, I, I definitely have a right lean. It doesn't mean you can't be fair. So yeah. it's like, to me, like, they're thinking through their own bias, and it's not as disingenuous or stupid as he thinks it is. So... And then it comes down to argument. Well, they're stupid. No, they're not. And that's a stupid argument. But that's that's all I'm saying. And he just, I don't know. I think he could fucking, you know, Vito's a smart guy and he's quick and he's funny. And it's just, I think he just kind yeah, of like, I a dick. like Vito. I really yeah, I, I do too. I, do, I highly recommend it. In fact, I highly recommend you checking out Popcorn Planet where all this madness get on. Where you can get all the geeks argument. Fucking Andy's going to read, Andy Snore's going to read you his blood sports. <laughs> so yeah, put that in the chat, Vault. I appreciate that. Put Andy's thing in the chat and Vito when you, when you have a chance. Um, so look, look, Vito's not a bad guy. I think he just kind of had a bad day, you know. And I don't know if it we can. Uh, the only thing, I think, and maybe it's unfair because the only thing is I don't think we can hold the New York Times standards to Star <laughs> Trek guy. <guys. laughs> But you can go out and do a video. And he's apparently going to do a video. You can go out and say, I think they're being disingenuous for A, B, and C. And that's, I don't think that's any different than saying, I think Disney is, is, is okay with this kind of shit because of the way, you know, because of A, B, and C. It's, it's, it's kind of the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, I think he would have done better if he just did a video response to it instead of just going on there and getting Vito's a killer. Like he Vito's did. a killer writer too. Yeah. I, I think he could have, but I think he, he let his anger get the best. And I, look, I'm human. He's human. I've done the same thing. Yeah. You know, he get it. Yeah. Yeah. He just, he really hated those guys. Yeah. I, I mean, if, yeah. And they had, they had history. So I, you know, if they didn't have history. he would have been cool. You know, and probably been yeah. okay. they don't like each other. So that, that's what happens. Me and Vito yeah. do like each other, so it was more civil. Yeah, I mean, like the way that he came on with you. I mean, yeah, he was very nice, polite. Yeah, came across. I hate genuine. the. I hate the. Uh, what would you do? Arguments. I hate those. It's like uh, that's the only <sighs> thing. I hate those. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what if your twelve-year-old got pregnant? You wouldn't get her an abortion? Yeah. Oh, the fuck, man. Doesn't change oh, anything. It just means I'm a hypocrite. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's that. That's, but, but I mean, you know what? In fairness to Vito, like ninety percent of the people in my life make arguments that way, so whatever. All right, still love you, Vito. Take care, Sip. Ah, oh, no, he's the best. Definitely so, Vito. Um, uh, big butt lover here on the air. 
Big butt lover. You're on the air. Uh, hey, sorry. I was laughing at that last caller. Um, so, um, would you ever do a podcast with Vito? Because I was, I was so worried you guys were going to go at it hardcore. Yeah, I think we got at it a little bit. I, I can't hate Vito. I don't dislike him. No, yeah. No, I, I love him. No, I, I but, think he, yeah. he was nasty to me. I don't like passive aggressive. You know that. I don't like... I don't like those those types of arguments, but I don't think it comes from like uh, a place where he's trying to own me or anything horseshit like that. So I just like I don't, I don't appreciate it, but it's like whatever. That's, that's the way he argues, and he's not one hundred percent wrong by any stretch. You know, I I, I wouldn't say he's one hundred percent wrong. I just I I don't know. I'm a little more forgiving for I guess hyperbolic opinions. I don't think it makes you stupid, and he does, and he thinks it's dangerous disinformation. Uh, I, I, right. I mean, I, I can get on the dangerous disinformation train a little easier if it was something serious, you know. So in that case, maybe I am a hypocrite on that that one. I just I don't think it's that big a deal with this stuff, and I don't consider. But see, I have this thing. I this is this is I've never. I always say I'm going to talk about this later. I'm going to say it again. I don't believe journalism exists. I think journalism is an idea. It's a nice idea, but it has never existed anywhere on this planet ever. People that are attracted to journalism, entertainment, tend to be fucking psychopaths that want to wield power and influence. And that goes from people that just want to be actors, from people that want to be a part of the New York Times. I think they are the fucking worst. And 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 I think YouTubers are the fucking worst, and I think actors are the worst. And I just, not every single one, of course, but I think that what our show has been goofing on for the last five years is that archetype. I don't think Vito's that for for a minute. But I do think there's a lot of psychopaths that want to use Star Wars to press their ideology on others. Not unlike, well, at least with the 700 Club, you know it's Christian bullshit. And they're doing it through Luke Skywalker, which I think is really disingenuous. So there you go. I'm only going to fight. But he had, a, he had a little meltdown. That's all. I thought it was funny. And I probably wouldn't have done it, but he snapped on me on Twitter a little bit. <laughs> well, glad you guys came out you know civil and oh, yeah, i right, really right, hope to right. see another show with them some other time <laughs> i had to unfollow video because it's shitty wow well, but uh, shitty that's Vosh takes. all i had for does he have Vosh takes yeah we well, had that communist tweet one time that was a little Vashi. Vashi, i made up a new word jeff Vashi. you're getting a little Vashi on me Vito. <laughs> I have seen people right. get Vosh right. has a lot of influence. I have seen people getting a bit Vashi over the years. Don't get Vashi on me. He got me heated about, uh, as I'm about to argue. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's like I, I think you got You got to pick your battles. That's not one of them. Vito's fighting a lot of battles these days. He got too heated. Um, old socks. Nothing wrong with Vito. He stopped those writers for sharing a Pepsi. That's just true. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's definitely true. <laughs> Vito gave me eights. And I'll put those other guys down too. I don't know if they're watching. Oh, I'll put them, I'll put them on another time oh, if they want. Oh, hello. Husky, you're on. Hello. Oh man, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be real here. I don't, I don't really care about anything else except for Mr. Col Mr. Uh, cancel culture ruined my career, man. Uh, uh, trying to cancel others. Oh, oh my God. What are you talking about? Why don't you explain yourself instead of being uh, passive aggressive, yeah. and we can have a conversation. <laughs> No, I'm saying the guy who uh, who said that he he got his uh, ca his career ruined by cancel culture Andy? is trying to cancel people now. I didn't think he was trying to cancel anybody yeah. at all. He was made it pretty clear that he didn't think she'd be fired. What he was doing was talk, you know, bring you know, look. Cancel culture isn't I bringing up these bigoted statements. Look at this. Look at who Disney's promoting here. Um, cancel culture is you're bringing that up and you're demanding they're fired. Bringing bringing this person's bigotry up is not indicative of cancel culture. That's just reporting on somebody Disney fired. I, I, I still think I still think it's a bit hypocritical. How is it hypocritical if he, she's not calling for a job? How is Should he not talk about he's it? Bringing up shit from, he bringing, so he shouldn't bring anything I'm up? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. <laughs> no. I'm saying that it, it, it's kind of stupid. Like what? Like what's kind of stupid? Like what, what, what's the alternative? Not to talk about it? I mean, like, Mr. Cancel Culture Man shouldn't... Uh, Are you just going to keep saying that over and over again? Him. What should he do? He should not talk about that. Is that what you're saying? I, I'm saying that it's it's just... Why, why why talk about it? Exactly. Well, you, so you're telling him to shut up then? No. 
That, that, w- <laughs> what else is it that you tell them not to talk? It's kind of stupid. I'm just. Oh, saying, you think it's, it's stupid. Fucking stupid. Well, I, I so well, he, he can't, he, he can't, he can't hold anybody to fire because really that might be considered. Uh, he, he can't hold anybody's uh, or have a debate with other people about their takes because it might get somebody canceled. It's not, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that, Tommy. It's, it's that uh, he. I don't know. I, I feel like his intention was to do that though. That's I didn't get that impression at all. Yeah, I just, I mean, I, I here's why I really resent what you're saying because every YouTuber I've ever made fun of or goofed on, I had a secret fucking agenda to hurt their career, and I, I've been told that from Angry Joe to Keemstar to Face Banks, and I think that's a sh- that, that that what the argument you made I think is utterly ridiculous. I, I guess that's fair. I guess. That's fair. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna yell at me, but hey. <laughs> I, mean, I just I embarrassed myself. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I like Volt, you. Volt, <laughs> Volt, Volt, uh, Volt asked uh, us to uh, to bring up Gamergate, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, I don't have anything to say about Gamergate. <laughs> The only thing I'll say about it's been coming up a lot lately. People are talking about. It. I saw it on Twitter twice today. Why? That's, that's, um, that's I think weird. I think a lot of people like look. Here's the thing with Gamergate. It's the only fucking culture war battle the left ever lost, and they're still reeling from it. <laughs> that's why it comes up. They're so now you're very butthurt about it. But yeah, it's, they're super butthurt about it, and it's probably why Trump got elected <laughs> to some extent, not obviously totally. But I think seven it, years later, they're still talking about it. I think they don't talk about it like they used to. I mean, the thing is just deader than dead. It was it, look. It was it was a great thing that yeah. started. It turned into a big grift. Yeah, yeah. I really, I, I considered myself a, a gamer gator, but it did turn into a big rift, and I have to say that it, it, it really, when I started meeting some of these gators, so to speak, it really, uh, my I, uh, people that are really respected, I like ended up having zero respect for. Like, oh my god, these yeah. are, like I used to. Here, here's the way I used to look at gamer gators: honest, they're like Vito, trustworthy, all this other stuff, and they were the same fucking jackasses. In a lot of ways, um, no, that, no, a lot of these like Monday Matt's like the perfect days. example. I mean, you know, I, it, it was obviously he rode that wave for for, for cash. He's a fucking grifter, but uh, I and mean, they he didn't. I don't think he ever. It, it really wasn't a problem until you know they struck his shit. But he has no yeah. problem doing it to other people. That's that's when I really and I I like I, I really I I used to really be a huge fan of Chris Reagan and Matt. And all those guys, I think they took a, I think they took a valiant stand, but I don't think all of them, if any of them, I mean, I can't even think of one anymore with possibility of Sargon. Um, he's definitely ideal, Medicare. though. Medicare Medic is probably the only one that fucking that was that, that stayed consistent and principled. I think the rest of them just jumped on the griff. And I, I had a source tell me that's why he changed his name to the Aristocrat. That's why he bailed, is yeah. because he saw the. Uh, the um these guys weren't they, 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 that there was a big opportunity here to hold people accountable and they're like uh get me a new computer and i didn't honestly i didn't figure that out to 2018 and so like a lot of guys are really respected really liked they're just youtubers and that was the one they're of the fucking, hardest lessons they're, they're i ever had to learn shits, man. you gotta understand like when i was watching gary and all that shit right i was like like a big supporter, huge fan. I donate. I wasn't, I didn't have this show. I had my fucking hockey show with fucking Jeff over here. So it was such a, like I held them in a higher, I treated them. That's why you never did. I treated them like they, they put their pants on differently than me. And that was my big mistake. They're just jerk off YouTubers. I, I was like, you know, I was like, all these guys are fakes and grifter and what, except my guys. I basically, you know, what people do to me when I criticize their favorite YouTuber. That's what I found out the hard way. And I ended up in a Megan video over it. <laughs> so there you go. Get the fuck out of yeah. here. I don't like you anymore. Bye. Um, Asmetic. Asmetic, you're on the air. All right. Uh, so I just have a question. And sure. It's kind of meta. Uh, oh, okay. and it's about this, this drama. This is what kind of why I think that this is entertaining. Yeah. Why is it entertaining? Do you think people just overthink too much? I, th- I mean, it could have something to do with the pandemic, I guess. I right. see. I, I'm, here's why I'm talking about it. I think it's a metaphor for people not being able to downshift and yeah. look at each other as human. I, that's what. That's that's my um, super secret smart plan with this. All right. Yeah. So I, that's what I think it is. It's Star Wars is irrelevant. This this is all stupid bullshit. All right. At the end of the day, I know that. That's what I do. I don't. I don't apologize for it. I like it. I think it's funny. I think it's something to talk about. All right. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to bring that up simply because uh, 
that's actually like something that's super fascinating to me. What's that? The the idea that we overthink. Well, I don't know. And I, what else is there to do? I mean, I, I suppose. I mean, you can apply that. To, if you can be a little too vague, can you be a little more uh, specific? Um, well, it's just like the the last caller. Yeah. The the whole idea of the guy, you know, he was talking about being canceled mm -hmm. because he was canceled. But now you're canceling somebody for getting canceled. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> well, so I that, think there's more nuance to it than that, that's that's that but so that was funny the way you put it. Yeah, yeah it's it's. I'm People, probably overthinking. How about this? this? You're probably overthinking it. What are you, a comedian? <laughs> Um, no, I, I, I think, um, people tend to overthink what they care about. Like me and Jeff and Nick were looking at fucking hockey clips and probably going over this, talking about this, probably talking about shit. We didn't totally understand because at hockey at that level, we never played, you know, I right. think people like, or star Wars or something like that. And politics is probably the worst one to overthink care about. I think that's, it's just human nature. I don't think it's anything to worry about. People just tend to do that. And sometimes it's what's important to you is not necessarily important to me. Right. Exactly. Yeah, that's all. I think it's, I, I don't yeah. think it's that we have to crack down on people overthinking. <laughs> you know, I think people being dead, like, 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 I guess what I'm trying to get across is people just need to like take a step fucking back. And I know I'm not the best person to be saying that, but it doesn't just because I'm a hypocrite doesn't mean it, it's any less true. Right, exactly. That, yeah. th th that's the core of what I was wanting to say. There you go. Thank you for letting me say that. All right. Get the fuck out of here. I don't like you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a problem with that guy at all. Whatever. I'm just going to start who, saying that, that to everybody. Call. I'm putting DJT on last. Did I put Clownfish on already? Yes. All right. Yeah, Sado, yeah, Chris, sure. you're on the air. Uh, okay, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. What's up? Hey, yo, fuck this politics, bro. Let's all go in like Boba Fett, bro. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> Do you care about this shit Wait. one way or another or what? Oh, what was that? Do you care about this shit one way or another or what? As far as this, I mean, I already knew at some point it was going to happen because mm -hmm. that's what basically what Star Wars is at the end of the day, if you kind of look at it. It's just a battle of politics. It wasn't always like that. I remember thinking when I was a kid that Star Trek was much more politicized, but not in a bad way. Uh, and Star Wars, like if you would have told me in 1989, when I probably could grasp, I was 13, 14, so I could probably grasp politics at some level at that point, right? If, like, I would say that this franchise is the least politicized. I remember the moment that I saw it being just slightly politicized, which was in uh, uh, Attack of the Clones, when um, Anakin and Padme have a conversation about democracy. And I remember, wow, that's the first time they ever touched on it. And I think ever since then, it's just rolled out of control and made it suck. You know? Yeah. And it's like, it's made it suck. And I, I think that's why some of the lefties are attracted to Star Wars because there is no, like, you guys grew up with being politicized. I didn't. It was just Luke Skywalker, Chewie, Han, Leia, and badassery. And just an awesome fucking story that could just pump you up. That's all it was. That's all it was. And I think ideologues got in there. I think that's fair to say. And um, tried to ruin it because it's just to them, it's just a, a, a megaphone. It's just a yeah. megaphone to get their to get their shit across. If they don't care about the series. They don't care about Luke Skywalker. They don't care the fucking company loses money. That's my opinion. They don't give a shit. They just they, they, what's there? What's what's it? It's like it's literally if a bunch of Scientologists got into like in charge of Star Wars, except it was a bunch of lefties, and it's kind of similar type save the world mentality. That's really what it is. And it wasn't like that when I was a kid. It was not, I mean, like, it was that. not like that. I mean, to be honest with you, it's not just Star Wars now. Have you been paying attention to DC Comics lately, too? Yeah, I know. They ruined everything. And I blame the left for that. And I'll be just right on it. And I blame the left for not... The, the lefties that, 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 that definitely agree with me, that are silent, I, I think you created this monster, too. You could have made it neutral all along. And you didn't. You just, you just tell people it's not happening when it clearly is. So... Yeah, it sucks. I, I love Luke. I, I love, uh, you know, and, and not only that, like, I don't think Luke Skywalker coming back a few weeks ago would have been that big a deal if this shit happened. If if everybody really didn't know, at least in their subconscious, that there's a political divide within that studio. I mean, I don't think it would have been badass. It would be like, oh, cool, Luke came back. But it became such a, a, a battle cry 
and and it just had a, it probably made the emotional reaction a lot better to be honest with you but it but, probably shouldn't be like that it just should be like what's the best story we can tell but we have a group of people that are in charge that if the story isn't told that fits their values it's problematic and that's problematic there i said it i think i, I actually used that fucking word that i dread so much in an actual sentence to where i don't feel like i'm gonna throw up well maybe a little all right shadow thanks for the call thanks for the call you have a good day. You too. I'm good today. I think these are good responses. Yeah, comic books suck now, dude. Everything sucks. Video yeah. games are okay. That's about it. How long will that last? Engineer Gaming Dodge. How can I help you? Engineer Gaming Dodge. Going once. All right. I'll put him in check with mics works. What did Clown... Did I hang up on Clownfish? Uh, his shit wasn't working. Uh, oh. Apparently said the shit was uh, in Australia. Clownfish, go ahead. Hello. So I wasn't uh, actually cut off by my internet this time. The first time you guys put me on, uh, I didn't actually hear anything. But I okay. digress. How can I help you? Good day. Uh, um, Tommy, Tommy, I, I just remembered the other day a story you told years ago um, about say? drinking. And I just wanted to say that and that advice came in very helpful. What did I say? <laughs> Oh, um, well, something about taking cold showers, like you were, you were saying, uh, Let's get up for formation the next day. From army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, the problem is you yeah, start running. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. You start running yeah. and then you sweat the alcohol out because I would drink the four in the morning and run at six. <laughs> if I did that now, I literally would oh, die. No. I'd literally die. And yeah, you can get out of it. As yeah. soon as you come, like a lot of times, like if I came home, I would shower like as soon as I got there, lay down for two hours. Okay, got to get up for formation. And shower again. Yeah. Damn. Smell that alcohol, Caledon. Uh, I'm sure I think you're being very racist using my Irish heritage. To, <laughs> that don't wash there. You know? <laughs> Can't pull the Irish card. <laughs> Although if I, if, yeah. if, if, if I could have, I would have. How dare you say I'm a drunk? I need compensation. <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. So, well, there you go. Anything on Star Wars? Who's that Star Wars school? Is that a big celeb? Uh... Yeah, she's Who? pretty big on. Yeah, she's pretty big. She Is like, he a lefty or righty? Uh, middle, <laughs> I, I want to say. She hot? <laughs> yeah. Definitely Is she? Is she really? Ball. Cool. Yeah. That's not like. Uh, all right. Well, that's great. <laughs> Wait, did we fight with her a long time ago? No, I can't remember. I can't remember anything. Well, if she's hot. It's okay with you. Fall. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. If you're hot, it's whatever, hot. It's fine. Everything's yeah, fine. Hot, everything's fine. Uh, yeah, you get you get a pass on everything. You could be a concentration camp guard, and I think you're okay if you're just hot. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're hot, that's fine, cool. you know. All right, get out of here, clownfish. You're no cool. fun. Anything else? Uh, I want to make sure she never comes on here by saying these terrible jokes. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, we're probably we're being canceled now yeah. as we speak. So, yeah. well, imagine yeah. somebody yeah. tying that up to my stupid fucking hit. like I. You know, it's it's amazing that I've been doing this like hit on chicks old man cringe thing for fucking what seven years now and nobody yeah. has ever nailed me on it and i'll defend it it's clearly a part of my fucking act but um it is it is amazing and you know what i don't care if nobody and not too many people do think it's funny but me but i think it's funny so that's all that matters bye clownfish you're muted mike i'll get you djt i just i'm gonna close with you uh Patriarch Roto, you're on here. How can I help Yo, you? Yo, what's up? What's up, dude? How can I help you? Uh, one second, let me stop the stream. Uh, so I just listened to um, your uh, debate with Vito. Yeah, do you like it? And uh, uh, honestly, no, because uh, the way he was talking was less directed at you and more directed to the chat. Was and, it? Uh, I don't know. So I don't look at the chat when I do it. I only glance at it. I'm not one of those guys that stare at the chat. It fucks me up. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I mean, like, uh, he wasn't responding to you as much as he should. Oh, was he? I hate when people do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't I, like that. I think, like, he, I think a lot of people do that. I think they worry about what other fucking people think. I don't know if that's the case with Vito, but I do see that a lot. I always tell people when I have guests on, don't I do that, Jeff? I say, don't watch chat. Otherwise, we won't have a conversation no. that you want to have. Yeah, don't watch exactly. chat. Exactly. I turn the chat. If, uh, if I'm I, in some monologues, I... I just completely exit out. Like I don't. I've 
bombed on shit where people like, oh, I hate your take, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't know it. I thought, wow, that was great. And they're like, oh, everybody's like, Tommy, <laughs> shut the fuck up. But I mean, I'd rather take that chance. But if that's the case. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah you're right. Because he was bringing shit up that I never brought up. You're kind of right. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. probably shouldn't do that. But Vito's yeah, a good uh, guy, though, man. He's not a bad guy. Uh, uh, and another issue was that uh, he was talking a lot about uh, they are lying, they are being stupid. I have no idea who they are. If I'm being, I honest. think he's talking about the the comic book. I forgot the name of the guys. I didn't really know too much mm. about them until today. But um, uh, yeah, he was, and he was kind of putting that on me a little bit. But I, I, I don't, I don't believe they're lying. I don't think they're like they got together and said, "All right, here's what we're gonna do." I just don't think so. I think they're they're kind of just slanted and they made a hyperbolic statement that i think has not a lot of merit but some yeah, yeah. I, I get that and the uh, the way he was facing it is a bit disingenuous you think he was uh, being say, disingenuous yeah, I don't think yeah they are uh, if they are lying or they are stupid as is in, that it's impossible for them to have uh, a logical reason. i don't know if that's disingenuous i think for, i'll make the same argument for Vito that i made for for them i think it's okay. it's ideology getting in the way it's it's it, what have you and maybe a little bias like i don't like those guys it's one of the two it's well, binary well, you know probably yeah so it, i think he's kind of doing the same thing to them and not realizing mm -hmm. it you know i like I, I really like people are hypocritical accidentally sometimes and it's not like evil like it's not intended it's not evil i know i've done it i've seen people do that all the time and i think i think it's it's only important to recognize your own I, just because you do something hypocritical doesn't make you a hypocrite is what i'm saying yeah, unless yeah, you're exactly. consciously being a hypocrite which is like a psychopath that's like the worst thing you do i don't think most people go out there and say all right i'm going to say i'm going to be like i'm, I'm just going to be a contrary and i'm going to be outside if i'm and if i or I, I think most people get caught being hypocrites and they make a ridiculous argument after that to cover it up because they're embarrassed rather than saying okay i get that and just clearing their head and going back to arguing i think that's what yeah, happens um, yeah just like you said before uh he needs to downshift a bit yeah everybody does to, but yeah. it's not just him I, I'll, I'll be honest it's not just him i mean and I, I i do think the statement was hyperbolic but disingenuous yeah i don't know i don't okay. know uh one, one last thing uh volk yeah i am now hey alaikum. <laughs> oh okay. jesus wow he's arabic oh, is he yeah. oh my god <laughs> Don't blow me up. <laughs> All right, man. Where are you from? Wait, can you say where you're from, or is it okay? Where, where are you from? Yeah, Saudi Arabia. You're from Saudi Arabia. How many wives do you have? How many wives do you have? He's my fucking neighbor. Is he really? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, how many wives do you have? Uh, sadly zero. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How many wives yeah. you want? <laughs> <laughs> four, obviously. Four? You think you can handle four women? <laughs> really? First nah, ever nah. Saudi Arabian. Uh, See, I, I I get the feeling the guys that marry like have uh more than one wife. Like I, you're only if you have more than one wife, you're like loaded, right? Because that's what I was told when I was in, when I was in Iraq. Like you got uh, kind serious. of, yeah. kind of yeah. yeah. Like how uh, many guys do this to like like it's like buying a couple cars, right? And they're like, look, I'm fucking rich, I'm powerful, I got a couple cars. So over there in yeah, your culture, it's you bitches you know they're like i got uh, three four ones. how many guys hit 40 and say this is i should have just took one of them this is the fucking most annoying shit i have four fucking nags nag 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 and i can't get rid of these bitches because you can't get divorced in islam that's what i always thought yeah, yeah but here's the thing Here, yeah. here's the thing uh yeah. tommy arab women and white women are different yeah they yeah. don't nag as much yeah <laughs> Why ever would they not nag as much as white women? I can't. I, I could never get to that conclusion. Uh, is it because they've only been legally driving in Saudi Arabia for the last five years? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah, only, only recently. Only recently. And uh, by the way, when you said about buying cars for the children, I know a guy that buys a fleet for his children. He buys he cars for his. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I was in. As a fleet, yeah. I met these ultra rich Arabs in in uh, yeah. Kuwait. Man, it is just stunning. Like they look at the world like completely differently. Yeah, I'll oh, pick yeah. up that BMW. <laughs> just like what the fuck, <laughs> you, know, <it's, laughs> you know? But Vault is a. He's. I wouldn't say Vault's not poor by any stretch, but he's middle, just a regular douchebag. Middle class. Middle class. Uh, yeah, middle class. Yeah. I don't know how you can have a middle class over there. The fucking. 
Uh, your country, my country, you do. Yeah, in my country, you do. Your country's as big as a county. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, well. Um, to me, I live in the and the capital, so yeah. it's about. It's oh, about, oh, if I can live, if I can live in. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. 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 So. All right, so man. There's a lot of rich people and there's a lot of poor people. Yeah. So you I'm have a mix, but Kuwait, like yeah. you're a servant or you're filthy fucking rich, you know? Oh. Geez. Yeah, you're just you're filthy. Dubai too, in the same way. I mean, yeah. I I can't I can't stand Kuwaitis or uh or, or like. I don't like Kuwaitis. Kuwaitis. Uh, I, I, you I, know, I, I'm I'm never gonna I, be a mouth. I had. I, the, I like it all. I like it all. No, Kuwait. I can't. Really, I haven't been there. I heard it's great. No. It's a party town. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I can't say I gotta go though. But I, I can't say anything bad about Kuwaitis because I think Kuwaitis said one of the nicest things that was ever said to me during my service in Iraq. They really seem well, to appreciate it. So well, uh, one thing about uh, one good thing about Kuwait is that uh, there's a lot of great restaurants in there. Yeah, uh, we weren't allowed out. We had Taco Bell. We weren't allowed out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he's right about yeah. that. Yeah. We did have Taco Bell. That's all that matters. Hey, Patriarch, <laughs> it's, it's it's nice talking to you. I'm gonna. Yeah, Close. yeah, you too. Thank you, man. All right. Uh, see you. Take care. Nice Good guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. DJT, you're on the air, and, and, and you're going to close the show. Oh, what is he saying? Don't mess with the voodoo. <laughs> what, is he, what are they saying in, in World of Warcraft? Don't be messing with the voodoo. I can't even do it, man. I wish I could. It is called Obi and on voodoo. Don't be messing with it. I, I, I told you my uncle said to me, Dami, don't mess with the voodoo. You'll be sleeping and somebody be punching you and punching you. You don't even know who's there. Yeah, my uncle actually said that shit to me. <laughs> like, like, pulls out. <laughs> People nice. punching. Yeah, yeah, he you meant it. So. They're, you know what it is, Jeff? They're all fucking Catholic over there and all fucking voodoo, too. They all believe in it, what? even though like, you're not allowed to be. And they're religious Catholics, yeah. My uncle's Catholic too, and I am. Is there four more Catholics? You know, it's all different sections. You see, is that Baptist, spiritual Baptist? You're Baptist? I never met a, a non-Catholic from the Caribbean. I totally. It's, you're Baptist, really? Mm? Oh. No, I'm like okay, Roman Catholic. That's what I am. Yeah, me too. Roman I, that's how I assumed you were. Yeah. Yeah, but that different versions. You see? Oh, uh, like a sub? Like I don't know. Like uh, what was Monday? Not Monday, Matt. Matt, uh, Mecca Matt. Mecca Matt was um, something or like Syrian Orthodox or something like that. He was technically Catholic, oh. but he went to a different church. Well, that's a new one I know again. I know we have by Pentecostal, Presbyterian, Baptist, spiritual Baptist, things like that now, but um, yeah. Well, that's open. All right, what do you got for this? Spiritual Baptist. What do you got on this? All right. One? What do you got? On? My main statement is Finn should have been a Jedi. because <laughs> yes, he's black. I will always say that. I think you're biased because he's black. <laughs> no, I find a stormtrooper should have been it, man. So let me see what a stormtrooper trooper does go through. I think they were going to do that. Day. I think that was the plan. Like, maybe never make him, like, because he held the lightsaber, maybe make him come to the realization that he, this is the path he needs to go down by the end of the movie. And but he knows they, they the fight with a lightsaber. That's a different thing. That was a good fucking scene, though. I, that wasn't the best lightsaber fight. But it, it was a. You know what I liked about fucking Finn? He looked exactly like I thought he would. He was just trying to fucking hold his own, you know? And but when Daisy got really it, it was. Just, yeah. From their point of view, you know, a stormtrooper point of view. Like, how did this train and they grow up, things like that? That's what I always wanted to see in Star Wars. Yeah. They fucked that up, dude. They should have started it off with Kylo Ren bouncing on fucking. Um, on what's his face, and then we watch Kylo Ren become Kylo Ren at, at the end. They totally fucked it up, and they fucked it up for the oh, reasons. Boy. I mean, I, I, I don't think those comic book guys are wrong about everything. I think they're right probably about a lot of things, whether they're disingenuous or not. Nah, and fucked, also, man. from, from in the last movie, what it was Finn wanted to ask three when there was any quick son. Oh, I think Finn wanted some yellow pussy. That's what I thought. <laughs> He was the, um, the fat Asian girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What happened to that? The they, they dropped her because she was such a movie. bad character, and then they they chased her off of Twitter, and that's kind of fucked up. I gotta be honest with you. It's so funny. You She's gone. She skipped, man. She don't talk to anybody. She doesn't like. It, it, it probably ruined her career. I it absolutely when she got say, can you imagine all those guys oh but except of adam driver every one of them thought it was going to be absolutely f 
fucking life changing, and they're like the the the, the half ass Star Wars. They're like the yeah. uh, you know the thumb sucker Star Wars. It sucks. I feel bad. I think what was was her Daisy Ridley? I think she's a tremendous actress. I think she would find that part of it's better written. You know, I I think I, Adam Driver's was awesome as Kylo Ren. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I think, what was the other guy? Isaiah, uh, the, the, the Hispanic guy. Dude, they Han totally, Han he was Han Solo, dude. They got the vibe, bro. They could have totally, they could have um, done amazing things if they weren't so fucking dead set on, on ruining the other characters. Amazing And also, things. what about, um? remember they always talk about how Jedi should never have feeling, romantic feelings, however. Yeah. Where how does Rey and Kylo have feelings for each other like that? I never understood that. I don't know. There's no Yoda's not around to fucking bitch about it. So there you go. We'll fucking I should, I should. yeah. And 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 remember, uh, uh, you know it. In, no, in, in the books, personally? in the books, um, because you know Luke's the last Jedi. He kind of loosened up that uh, celibacy thing. He he ends up having a wife oh. and and children, and he trains them in the books. Right, so he just like cause he's like the last Jedi. I could do whatever the fuck he wants, you know. Like, here's where we're gonna do it, and I'm gonna be able to get some snatch. Got it? <laughs> There's my fucking Jedi so mind trick, snatch. So in order to realize, don't you go and keep up with that shit? <laughs> well, I don't either. Somebody told Vito told me that. I don't know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, talk to you later, DJ. Take care. We're gonna end this fucker. Take care. Peace. Yeah. yeah, I don't know any of that nerdy shit. It's all Vito. He fucking told me. I don't either. I don't know. What do you want to close? What do you think all this stuff? My idea was a metaphor with how crazy the world is. That was that was my idea. That's pretty much what I got from it. Um, well, okay. Really gay. Really gay. <laughs> yeah, Fuck you. Really gay. Shut up. I wish Doc was here. <laughs> oh. I think it was great. I the argument what, wasn't good. You, you didn't find the argument. I, I mean, you got to tell me the truth. You didn't think, well, you didn't find the argument entertaining at all. I found, it, I found it entertaining, but like it's Star Wars. It's a fucking movie. Yeah, I was, I was trying to that, get that all across the that, head. That, that's, that, that's where I'm getting. That's it's a fucking movie. That's where I'm getting at. The discussion, the discussion was perfectly fine. I don't think we could stop all misinformation. I don't think that's a good fucking goal. I, I mean, I, I hope he comes to that one day. It's not necessarily a good goal, but it is worth pointing out. If the anti-SJWs are doing SJW tactics and just said, f I would almost rather them say, fuck it, we're going to cancel console f two, and we're going to cancel people we don't like just like they until this. That would almost be a more honest strategy, right? We're going full-blown cash club. Fuck you. At least like, all right, tit for tat, what are you going to do left? What do you mean? Maybe you're going to fucking bring it down? Probably not. They'll probably like a scenario like that. But, you know, I, I think that was what I kind of wanted to get across because I'm better than all of you and I'm smarter and I'm in the middle. So when you hug the fence like I just did, that makes sure you're, you're better and smarter and more worldly and wise. I have no ideology. I just want truth. <laughs> People freak out about Star Wars canon. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you don't like some, if look, freaking out is fucked. Well, my dad told me I freaked out, so maybe I shouldn't say that. I, I was pretty upset about the Hans, the way they treated Luke. It just sucked for me. It made it made it suck. And I don't think it just made it suck for white people. I think it made it suck for anybody to dug Luke. You know, because when I was a kid, I grew up in New Jersey. Uh, all the black kids and the Hispanic kid liked Luke too. Most girls I I knew thought he was cool, and now he's not cool. Now he's kind of a fucking coward. He's a bitch. So yeah, I think. But there is. A limit on how much you can just be a bitch yeah. about, and the best thing to do is not give those fuckers your money. Uh, Baba Boy, they said it's time out. Left the left. Now we go to have fifty-year-olds screaming like ta like uh, tantruming children about nonsense. I again, I think it's the tantrum is bullshit. I think everybody's got to take a step back, but I don't think there's anything wrong, especially if you're a pop, pop culture commentator on here and saying this is horseshit, and it's probably I. You know, uh, agenda driven, and uh, here's why. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But if you're like freaking out and like one of Jeremy's fans or some shit like that, yeah, I think you're kind of a douchebag. All right, I'm out. Peace. Peace. I think I want to play video games or something. Even George Lucas was furious about the mishandling of Disney. Well, I'll tell him to shut the fuck up. Shouldn't have sold it, you bitch. Peace. This is the almighty infinite.
Independent excellence. Devil fighting rebel titan. We smoking alchemists. Fake identities. Okay, you cool with Jason Bourne. Running with these Wolverines. Okay, you about to catch a storm. I ain't never been a liar. Got tired of niggas playing me. Head in my legs like she about to catch a pedigree. Shy town to King's home. Slapping fives, black stones. Six mile to danger zones. Bullets look like waffle cones. So affiliated to evolution of Machiavelli. Don't make me leave the Migos to you like I'm Chip Kelly. They feel my struggle. I express it through my hip hop. I'm about to make it hard to breathe. Here's a headlock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy.